I'm Heidi Hollis and I wanted to find somebody that actually saw something kind of weird so I went looking and I only had to go two steps before I bumped into Deanna here and she saw something a couple summers ago that she wanted to share with me so let's hear it. Okay, after I graduated high school, this is summer of 06, I used to hang out with my friend Jess all the time and we were out here one night, we came out and smoked a cigarette, it was probably about 3 o'clock in the morning. And yeah, 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 what happened? <laughs> <laughs> we were just standing out here, we had nothing else to do. And then all of a sudden, this thing shoots across the sky and it was pretty fast but I mean I caught what it actually looked like. It was this green thing, I don't know what you would say it was, but <laughs> a green thing uh -huh. that shot across the sky and left kind of a a trail behind it of so, green crap. <laughs> I mean, like, how would you describe? I mean, would you say like this was round, or how would what would you, how would you describe? I wouldn't it? say. I mean, it was round, but not like spherical. Maybe more oval okay. shaped, okay. and it wasn't very small. It was actually quite large, like a. I don't know. Maybe like maybe bigger than a bus. Bigger than a bus. Okay, yeah. so that, this was a big mother that was moving through the sky, and it left like a trail yes. going behind it. Uh, well, something that I have to tell you when, when people describe like something that has a, a tail behind it, they'll still like categorize that as possibly being a meteorite. But green, I'm not so sure about. And did it have a distinct shape to it though? I mean, or were the edges kind of hazy or? It was, I mean, it wasn't like as distinct as like a metal object. Like you'd see like, okay. oh, I can see the shape of it. But okay. I saw the oval type shape but it also had it's it kind of like a, a smoky green around it so you couldn't okay. really see like the details of what it was okay but you saw that there was something going across the sky and, like did this totally freak you out and you totally booked out of there or what <laughs> well i saw it first okay and it caught my eye first and i freaked out and i looked at my friend jess and i was like did you just see that and she was like yeah and i was like I think it landed over there and we freaked out and we ran back in the house probably in a panic just in shock and I just I don't even know did, did it cause you to like question your reality a little bit or well you know I'm not a big believer well before that I wasn't a big believer in UFOs I mean okay. I kind of thought they existed but I wasn't the one of the people who ever you know saw anything so I was kind of skeptic about it okay but after this me and my friend Jess of course we knew there's there's other things out there than us so, oh so you really felt like you know this was something not quite from here you got that feeling that this was not a, a stone shooting through the sky you really felt like this was something from elsewhere well, I don't see very many neon green things flying through the sky <laughs> that often. What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, I mean, that makes sense. I mean, I, I think what's important when people see things like that is that they get a feeling themselves. And I always tell people to trust their own gut rather than go according to, you know, well, supposedly scientists say this can't happen. So it, it, it's important to know what you felt more than what you know, just saying mm -hmm. what you saw. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm glad that you shared that part because uh, when people say, I saw a shooting star, they saw a shooting star, but you're saying this is something the size of a bus cruising through the sky, <laughs> you know, neon green, so. You know, and it's kind of funny because you think that, you know, of course it happened late at night, so nobody else freaking saw it except, you know, me and my friend, and uh -huh. it was just, it was awkward and scary. I mean, I didn't even finish my cigarette. I put that, I put that baby. <laughs> <laughs> you tossed it. You know, it's something weird too though. There there have been many sightings where people, several people are there witnessing something in the sky and people standing right next to them don't see anything. And honestly, I think, you know, the particles in the air, the way they refract light, that sometimes that's what happens, that some people see it. And sometimes it's meant for certain people to see it and not others. So maybe, <laughs> maybe you had some kind of close kinship to these things <laughs> that you don't know about. Well, if you, if you, I mean, it's not like it's like a city where like, if you're in Chicago, you know, there's all sorts of funny colors in the air. Oh, okay. But like here, like, I mean, there's a street light, but the street light's not green, so. Right. You, <laughs> gotcha. Well, I wanted to thank you for sharing your story. This was really nice that you did and that you came forward and were brave enough to do that. So, <laughs> thank really you very crazy. much. <laughs>